11. This month marks the one year anniversary of when two Valley Law Enforcement Agency officials were shot and killed in the line of duty. Fresno County Sheriff's Deputy Joel Wallemeyer and Reedley Police Officer Javier Behar lost their lives during a standoff with a gunman in Minkler. The community has since built a memorial in that town to remember the men. Their relatives and co-workers paid the memorial an emotional visit for the very first time. CBS 47's Tony Body joined them to talk about what it means. Minkler, a town so tiny that if you blink during the drive, you might miss it. Fixed along Highway 180, this community of roughly 30 people lies between Fresno and Kings Canyon National Park. Most days, the only sounds you'll hear are the commuter's tires rolling on the pavement. But flashback to February 25th, 2010, Minkler's darkest day. Gunshots filled the air as 51-year-old gunman Rick Lyles went on a shooting rampage, killing two law enforcement agents. The worst day in uh, many of our lives that day. I'll never forget the feeling um, being in my office. More than 500 bullets were fired through the walls of Lyle's trailer during the seven hour long standoff. It ended when Lyle shot and killed himself. This is the spot where the trailer belonging to gunman Rick Lyle's, where it sat now a few hundred feet away from here, now sits a memorial dedicated to the men who sacrificed their lives on that dreadful day last year. Nestled along a creek, the memorial is nothing fancy. There's a log bench and a large rock with an inscription. Mary Novak, owner of the Minkler Cash Store, has a perfect view of the memorial from her front window. Novak is actually the one who thought of it and turned it into a reality. I just wanted a memorial for someone to go and be at one with God. You know, it was very, it's very touching to me. With emotions still raw, family members and co-workers of Officer Javier Behar and Deputy Joel Wallenmeyer took the bold step of joining me in Minkler to look at the memorial for the first time. It's a huge gesture on her part. Betty and Bruce Barnett's daughter was married to Deputy Wallenmeyer nearly 30 years. They say they lost a son in last February shootings. Worst crisis in our life. It's still at times unbelievable. It's heart-wrenching for us to see this. Um, it's a beautiful monument. Uh, it's a tribute to Joel. It's very difficult to pass through here. Difficult to think of Mingler. Maricela Behar Chavez is Officer Behar's sister. He was such a happy, happy man, happy young man. The day Javier was shot turned his family's world upside down. Reading the words in memory of next to his name is a grim reminder of that tragic event. But at the same time, it's just um, also it makes me feel good, at least in that sense, that people do remember and do recognize why he died. Behar is the only Reedley police officer to ever be killed in the line of duty. His memory lives on through this memorial garden in front of the department. Back in Minkler, Chief Steve Wright admires the rock and bench that now sits so close to where the shootout happened. It's a beautiful monument. And uh, we couldn't be uh, any more pleased with the folks in Minkler who recognized the sacrifice. Fresno County Sheriff Margaret Mims was also moved by their gesture. The phrase on the stone, protecting our community, is what stands out to her. I'm very humbled that nobody from the sheriff's office went to the community and, and asked that this happen. They took this up on their own. What the standoff has done is heightened awareness at the departments that have been so deeply affected. It's a reality. We can be going to the simplest call and it can just happen. Nothing to us is routine anymore. And that gives us just that much more of an edge. For the relatives left behind, they rely on their faith and family to help them heal. Life just goes on and as they say it gets easier. We haven't noticed that to be true, but it, it probably will. After living through this misfortune, they know to never take anything for granted. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. So just enjoying the little things in life and enjoying family, um, enjoying, it could, it could be the last time that we're together.
In May, Officer Behar and Deputy Wallenmeyer will be recognized on local, state, and national levels during Peace Officer Memorial observances scheduled in Fresno County, Sacramento, and Washington, D.C. In Minkler, Tony Body, CBS 47 on your side. Now, if you would like to see this special report again, just go to our website at CBS 47.